Okay. So pretty much what I'm gonna be showing how to get healer edict and Mandiri. To get healer, you're gonna wanna get Dinakari into this guy and reroll. Then it's pretty it's time consuming, but it's easy to do. You just stand in here until day 20, or go do anything until day 20. There's a Dinakari and any ultra. And then you go to this guy, you wipe, and then there should be a box on the table. But you don't want to stay there, and they should respawn you with you either. If there isn't a box, go on a private server, because I think it's one per server. To get Madiri after you get healer, you're gonna wanna. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into a real server and group 15 people. So when this stunts to 15, it has to be normal grab on axe kick. You're gonna wanna get 15 and then you go over to the artifact table. You're gonna wanna grab a Phoenix feather and a Night Stone. After you do those, you go to Sigil. He goes through the barrier onto the left, and then there should be an NPC right here. You're gonna drop down to the NPC, talk to him, and then buy his curse stone. When you buy his curse stone, you want to go to Tundra 5. After you go to Tundra 5, pretty much just go exactly where I'm going. It's going to be the D Sage quest pretty much. So you just go through Castle Sank. Give me a break, give me a break. If you want to avoid taking four damage at any point, just grab onto the wall. If you see yourself take any four damage, just drop all the way. There's a full damage cooldown in both this game and our RP. I'm pretty sure it's a bug, but I don't know if they know about it. So you just keep going up here. You're gonna want to go to the top of that right there. I should make it, but I might. I recommend using like Oni armor that has good climb, or you can use Spider Cloak. I'm gonna back my Ignis real quick to heat. Well, I'm not gonna be able to show it because DSK has like no cold reserve. Pretty much, when you get to the top, there's gonna be an NPC. You talk to this guy with the Curse Stone, Night Stone, and Pia, and then he should give you a necklace. What's going on here. After he gives you the necklace, you're gonna wanna go to Forest 1. Then you go up here, into the church, and then you talk to this armor. Should give you an option to say something to it, and then it should respawn you, and you get Madiri, 